Today, I'll be taking a look at the Cardio Mobile 6L from Alivecore. This is currently the only personal 6-lead ECG device that has received clearance from the US Food and Drug Administration. The device itself is small and lightweight and fits on the palm of my hand. If you're new to this channel, my name is Stiquin and I make tech and food related videos on this channel. If that's something you're interested in, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button and while you're down there, do me a favor and smash that like button until it turns blue. Before I continue, I just have a quick disclaimer here. The information in this video is not intended as health advice. This video is purely intended for informational purposes only. Always seek the advice of a qualified health provider for questions about your health or questions about a medical device. The first thing I want to talk about is what is an electrocardiogram? Well, according to the American Heart Association, an electrocardiogram is a test that measures the electrical activity of the heartbeat. The recorded data is displayed as a waveform, and if you've ever seen a movie or TV show that has a hospital scene, Remember the screen next to the patient that displays the heartbeat as squiggly lines? Well, that there is an ECG waveform. The recorded ECG will provide doctors with two key pieces of information, which are how long the electrical waves take to pass through the heart and the amount of electrical activity passing through the heart muscle. What this translates to is that an ECG can detect irregularity in the heart rhythm and identify parts of the heart that are too large or are overworked. And if you're wondering what's the difference between ECG and EKG, ECG is basically the abbreviation based on the English name electrocardiogram of a C, and EKG is the abbreviation based on the German name electrocardiogram with a K and a double M. So how does it feel like to do an ECG? Well, you don't feel anything at all to be honest. I've done a 12 lead ECG before in the past and the most noticeable feeling was the sticky pads the doctor placed on various parts of my body that is used to conduct the heart's electrical current. Likewise, recording a 1 or 6 lead ECG with the Cardio Mobile 6L is pretty simple and straightforward. No sticky pads required. What you have to first do is to open the Cardia app and click the record your EKG button and there you see an option to either choose a single or 6 lead EKG. For the 6 lead EKG, what you have to do is to rest the back of the Cardio Mobile 6L on either your left knee or left ankle and then replace your left and right thumbs on the two electrodes on the top. The data is transmitted to the app in real time through Bluetooth and is advised not to have any RF communications peripherals such as an external antenna near the device as it might interfere with the data transmission. The recording time is 30 seconds and once that's done, a summary will be displayed with the six views of the heart displayed as waveforms as well as an instant analysis of your heart rhythm. And you might be wondering how can you get six views of the heart from just three points of contact with the heart? Well, I was also a little bit curious about that and I did a little research and found out that by combining the results from the physical electrodes and running them through a formula, an augmented lead can be created from the physical electrodes. The same thing applies to the 12 lead ECG. It generates 12 views of the heart, but it only requires 10 points of contact with the heart. On the flip side, recording a single lead EKG only requires you to place your index and middle fingers on the two electrodes on the top. The recording time for this mode is also 30 seconds. So as you can see, recording an ECG with the Cardio Mobile 6L is very simple and intuitive. The integration between the Cardio Mobile 6L and the Cardio app is surprisingly flawless. I've been using this to record ECGs daily for two weeks now, and I've yet to encounter any technical issues. So the question now is, why did I buy this $150 ECG device? Well, I got this mainly because I was curious about ECGs from the perspective of a tech accessory. One of the headlining features of the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 smartwatch that I'm currently rocking is the supposed ability to record ECGs. I said supposed there because this smartwatch has been out in the market for close to a year now, and the ECG feature that was announced alongside the release of this device is still not widely available due to regulatory clearance. I kind of feel that Samsung really jumped the gun here by announcing ECG support on the Active 2 prematurely before clearance was given just to be equal in terms of health features with the Apple Watch Series 4 or 5, which has been given clearance by the FDA to record ECGs since late 2018. But on the bright side, when the Galaxy Watch 3 was announced earlier this month, Samsung confirmed they have received clearance from the FDA for their ECG feature. So hopefully the ECG feature gets rolled out to the Watch Active too soon. Let me know down in the comment section if you'd like to see a video about Samsung's ECG feature when it rolls out. Overall, I have to say I'm very impressed with the Cardio Mobile 6L from the perspective of a tech product. And I can't stop marveling at the size of this device. It's just so small and compact and everything is so well built. And while I can't comment on the accuracy of ECG readings from this device, as I don't have access to a full-size ECG machine to compare with, I believe that the Cardio Mobile 6L alongside Apple and Samsung smartwatches that can record ECG feels more like a tool for detecting issues earlier, which will prompt a more detailed diagnosis at a medical facility where more accurate tests will be performed. Additionally, I read up online that approximately 80% of cardiovascular diseases are preventable, so medical devices like this can be helpful for preventative care. 
So yeah, that is all for today's video and I hope you enjoyed it and found this overview of the Cardio Mobile 6L useful or somewhat interesting. Definitely check out the links down in the description box below if you want to learn more about the Cardio Mobile 6L or maybe even purchase it. And while you're down there, make sure to smash that like button until it turns blue and let me know down in the comment section what is your favourite tech accessory. Mine is currently my Galaxy Watch Active 2 smartwatch.